This is the daily video update for Wednesday, March 10th, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week we're talking about the Congregational Covenant of Right Relations, and in particular each day we're drawing out one of the statements of intent that's contained within, um, within that covenant. So I'm going to read the first statement of intent and then talk a little bit about it, and we'll follow the same format as we go through the covenant together. The first statement is on respect, and it says this, the first and second principles of our faith call us to uphold the inherent worth and dignity of every person and to employ justice, equity, and compassion in human relations. Being true to these principles calls each of us to first think before we speak. Is it true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and kind? Provide empathy, time, and support to fellow members, staff, and minister. Be as honest, authentic, and transparent as possible with ourselves and others. Forgive ourselves and others for missteps and ask others for forgiveness. Recognize our needs and talents wherever physical, spiritual, emotional, mental, or financial, and give ourselves and others privacy and time to support these needs. And to honor all levels of service to the church and offer and accept invitations to participate at UCL without guilt, charitably recognizing no as a valid response. Now I'll say first, uh, as we talked about on Sunday, covenants are aspirational documents, and these statements of intent are explicitly that. They are what are, we intend, and there are always going to be places where we fall short. We'll come back to that as the next week and a half goes on. But this is a really important place to start. The first principle of Unitarian Universalism says that each person has inherent worth and dignity. That's what this respect piece is about. That when we interact with each other, in, in church or in the community in general, we see each other as a fully actualized person. Uh, a, um, an actor, not a means to an end. That's really important. Everything else flows from that. If we see each other as fully human and fully deserving of respect, just as we want to be respected, then the rest of this covenant comes with that. So tomorrow we'll pick up on the second statement of intent, which is about healthy boundaries. <laughs>